Hey everybody, uh, it is Tina. I was reading a scripture, which I'm going to read to you. It says right here, Satan, okay, the woman, the child, and the dragon. Now a great saint appeared in heaven, a woman clothed in the sun and the moon under her feet. Uh, and on her head. Okay, so basically, a great sign in heaven. Where is the sign at? It's in heaven. Where is heaven? Up. The sign is up. Look up. So, um, there's this big lady, um, I, I think it's this channel, it's called a Last Call, Last Chance, Last, Last Call, whatever. Okay, she's baloney, y'all. I, I was watching her, she was speaking tongue, man, I'm like, ooh, this servant is definitely from the Lord. And then she was showing this lady that was dressed in black. And you know, when she was dressed in black, every outfit she was wearing was black. I was suspicious right there and then. I'm not saying black is not a problem, but why is she wearing black? And in the picture, her face was glowing. And she said, that woman is the lady in, uh, the lady that is described here. I'm like, oh, hex, nah. Okay? And y'all, don't get deceived. There is so much deception. It is not even funny. Okay? Um... This clearly say there's a great sign appear in heaven, okay? In, in heaven, okay? Not the lady. This lady, well, the speaking tongue was talking about this lady, how, you know, God called her and she was doing all blah, blah, blah. Okay. We really don't know that. We just know what sh that crap that she's feeding us, you know what I mean? But, um, do not... There's a lot of reception on YouTube. I'm warning you now, okay? And the last call is a big deception. If you don't believe me, just go ask the Lord. I haven't asked the Lord, but I have the spirit of concernment. So ask the spirit of concernment. Like, I asked the Lord to give me a spirit of concernment so I would just know, you know, instead of testing the spirit. You can ask God and test the spirit, or you can just ask God to give you the spirit of concernment. Let me know which one's from you, which one's not from you, so I can just dodge it, like, just instantaneously, you know what I mean? So, um, the sign is in heaven. It's She basically, this lady was speaking tongue and say that this lady was dressed in white in her photo and she had a baby and, the, and it was a rare and uh, um, probably witchcraft. That's how she got pregnant. And uh, we don't know, if, you know, we don't know nothing. We, we just, you know, believe what people say. But we need to have a spirit of concernment. We need to test the spirit, okay? So at this time, we want to look in heaven. When we see these things, okay, when you see the stars lining up exactly to what the thing says, look on YouTube, it talks about this guy, talks about the the stars and whatever, so not. And so, um, I think the, the male child represent us. Lately, I've been having a lot of visions and dreams about babies like when I would start praying to the Lord I just see kids like babies around uh, newborns and to two years old I've been seeing a lot of like kids and babies like to, from two and down I just see them it's just just I don't know I don't know what that means but I've been seeing a lot of them and it says right here that the there was a war broke out in heaven okay this is a got while ago I was looking in the night sky. I was praying to the Lord, just looking at the night sky. There was flashes, like flash, 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 flash. I knew right away. I, I, I don't think I read the scripture, but something was telling me there's something's up there. Something is going on up there. And, and then I'm like, oh my goodness, this is from the scripture. The battle, you know. The war in heaven, Michael and his angel fought with a dragon, and the dragon has uh, 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 fought. So that's why I, it was going on, it it was flashes, you know, like a flash, like, flash, like, lightning. It, it was lightning. It was exactly like night, lightning, but there was no thunder. It was a, a lot of lightning going for, like, an hour or so. It was going for a continuous hour in the night sky. I think I saw this for two days, okay? 
and I was like, I was marble at it. I was like, whoa, what the heck is that? Like, God's always telling me, look up your redemption, draw nigh. All the signs is in the heavens. All the signs you need of Jesus coming is in the heavens, okay? That's what God have told me before in my dream. Look up. When you see these things come to pass, you know I am at the door, okay? So, um, man, I can't believe. Okay, so the thing is, and this says right here, um, and they did not prevail, nor they were found a place them in heaven any longer. And the great dragon was cast out, uh, the great, uh, the serpent of old, called the devil Satan, who deceived the whole world. He was cast to the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Okay, um, the ice on. This is, this, I don't know how, how I got this. Okay, I, I'm just coming up with conclusion, okay? The planet Ison is, okay, I don't know how I got this. Maybe God's giving me, or maybe I'm just coming up with this stuff. I don't know, okay? Planet Ison, I think, is Satan. It symbolizes Satan, or it is their planet, or something. I don't know what it is, but I know this planet Ison is up to no good. Okay, and uh, I think this um, planet Ison has a really, really big, okay, because God always told me, look up in the heavens, those are the signs of my coming, and it is like right here, you know. So the dragon, I really think the planet Ison is protruding to the devil, Satan, you know how... You know, he is the star. God always talk about, you know, how, you know, uh, we're, we're basically, we're all stars. And we were all, you know, like, whether, um, you know, we're all, ba we're basically all stars. Like, God was saying, like, you know, you, you're going to be like a star shining, whatever, you know. We're going to be like stars. Like, how God was saying, like, oh, we're going to be like stars shining in the night. And uh, this planet, I saw, planet, star, whatever you call it, that is the devil. God is like... God is maybe using a metaphor or whatever. I'm I don't know what's going on, but this planet is the deep meaning in the Bible where it talks about the serpent being cast out. This dragon is being cast to the earth. And it's coming to the earth. I think it is going to hit the earth. And uh it's gonna bring a lot of uh meteor meteor shower maybe the meteor shower represent the fallen angel i don't know i'm just you know I, okay but all i'm saying okay all i'm saying is that you know i was asking the lord i'm like i had a vivid dream about the coming flood here at my house will i be here to witness the flood and okay and and this is the thing I had stock on a lot of food, okay? If I don't wrap the the rice, I bought like $5,000 of war, a lot of food, rice. It's a lot of rice, okay? And maybe God had given me this river of dreams so I can wrap all my rice with plastic bag because if I don't do it, nobody gonna do it. Nobody's prepared. Only I am prepared, you know? I, I mean, like, in my family, like, everybody is clueless. And so, uh, maybe he had given me that vivid uh, vision so I can wrap up my rice because you know that that rice is going to be really needed after the uh, the rapture and, and the tribulation. So, he doesn't want that to go to waste. So, uh, whether my family's using it or somebody's using it, you know, he I don't think, I knew he gave me that dream. And I was like, Lord, like, I'm freaking out. Am I going to be here? Like, am I going to be here through the flood? Like, is the flood and tsunami going to happen before the rapture? So this is what I was reading. Remember I was telling you I had a dream that the the very uh, first wave that came in was a small wave. But it, it did some damage. So there wasn't too much people that get killed. But the second one was going to kill millions. Okay. The 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 tsunami that was, everybody was talking about. this The major tsunami. Okay. And uh, what I have understand is here. It says that. The, uh, the serpent have spilled water uh, out of his mouth like a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away from the flood. So, um, maybe, okay, 
yeah so it says after the flood after the woman okay so the woman and the the, the man child is maybe represent the brides and saints who knows but i'm trying to figure that out but this is what god's telling me that it is after the flood is going you know or at least this is what I'm thinking. I'm not going to say it's God. I think that the flood, the tsunami, is going to happen after. Because I know the rapture is so close. It's from now and a year and There's no way. Well, there's not no way. But the chance of you know God fitting a, a tsunami in here. Uh -huh. it's going, if, if it's going to fit, it's going to be boom, boom, boom. Like earthquake, tsunami. Everything is going to be like, you know. Other than that, it might be the rapture and then everything go boom, boom, boom. But I know for certain, from according to my dream, right when the minute, um, of uh, right when the the earthquake starts shaking, right when you feel a vibration on the ground, drop on your knees and repent. It is, it was like right when the, the rapture happened. I mean, right when the earthquake start, that the whole earthquake shook, okay? That, because, you know, I've never witnessed an earthquake here before. But when it shake, you know the rapture is right there at that minute. Like, I had that dream, check out my other dream, that right at that minute, God was slowing down the time for me. It was like, under like millimeter second. He was like slowing, it was less than a minute. It was a millimeters you know it was like less than a, a second you know and see he was it was go ding it was a ding 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 like it was like slow down i saw the earthquake and in that time i think i saw the flood coming i don't know but i knew the flood was happening around that time okay around the time of the the earthquake the tsunami happened okay there are times i think it might happen before but i'm having good chance it's gonna happen at the same time y'all it's gonna happen at the same time i think the earthquake have a very big part of uh bringing in this tsunami okay um but you know it's gonna be like you know after that it's gonna be aliens demons uh, zombies and um troops and wars and just all sorts of crazy stuff i was talking about famine um economy crash you know everything will be destroyed so that's why there won't be any truck delivering food that's why you guys should stock on food because your money is about to be like shit is not i'm oh, sorry i'm sorry for my language your money is going to be worthless okay if you're smart stock on food and things that you need okay so um it's just beneficial for uh everybody to uh stock on um on food and, and supply because even whether you make it or not uh whether you make in the rapture or not you still gonna use it or your family's gonna use it because think about it when the mark of the beast comes you ain't going to be able to buy nothing without a mark. So why are you even keeping your money? You know, I mean, I I thought of the clever way to use all my money. I just use all my money. Like, just use your money right now. Because in two more days, tomorrow and the next day, something's happening. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it's just me going crazy. But I have a feeling something's happening tomorrow and the 28th or the 29th. I did have a dream, something about March of next year, but definitely something from now to end of the year. Look for these timing, okay? We are so in the season, it's not even funny, you know? Um, I'm really praying God will not give me another disappointing year. I've waited a whole chunking year for the Lord, okay? Uh, I, I don't think I can know. I mean, I don't mind staying at home, but my mom and dad is not, you know, they're kind of taking care of me. What kind of, I'm kind of paying rent, like, I'm kind of help, helping out, but not really, but it's just my part, like, you know, but my mom, dad doesn't want me to see me like this, you know, and I can't be like this all the time, like, I told the Lord, if it's not this year, I cannot, I cannot stay home anymore, I gotta go back to work, you know what I mean, and so, I'm literally, like, waiting for God, like, <laughs> two to, uh, two years or so, yeah, uh, two years, just, and I, I'm, I'm real, you know, I, I, I know I'm, okay, God gave me 
you know, he told me it was the very last time. He cannot give me the same excuse. I will not allow it. You know, I will not accept it unless he have another very good excuse. There's no way. There's no more excuse. There's no more excuse for him to give me. You know. So and I have a lot of also a lot of confirmation on um, one of my friend or the one of the lady I met on YouTube two person their daughter okay one you know her daughter was two she said uh baby bye bye she just said that to a mom out of nowhere and then this other lady uh said that her daughter which is i don't know four or five said that she won't be here for christmas to get the toys so she wanted her toys ahead of time so that's something to think about uh that's it bye